Welcome to our Mass Effect Andromeda trailer breakdown. We are going to be dissecting this trailer into all of its goody little parts and piecing together conclusions or just commenting on really cool things that we see. With me today is Ashen Entity. Hello. And Katie Cat. Hey guys. Here we go. This is the Andromeda trailer breakdown. Mass Effect Andromeda is a next generation of action RPG. They make a pretty big claim, and for a big AAA studio, one of the top leaders in this genre of games, to make this kind of a statement, it's pretty bold that this is a new generation of action RPG games. So they're claiming that this is a new generation, which means that it's not like the old mass effects that it's going to have substantially more content and substantially more things to do in this new game so this is one of the things that we're going to hold them to this while we view the rest of the trailer to see if this is in fact actually true some that real nice meaningful planet exploration that we can see we also see that the world system has a scan system to it so you... I, I noticed that there is a uh, a percentage on the exploration for planets here in, in Mass Effect 3, you had this a little bit, um, mm -hmm. but now they've kind of like, they've really expanded on this. So you're going to have a ton of stuff to both explore visually and then also with this scan device. You can scan plants and, and things like that on the planets um, and wildlife and a couple other things, which is mm -hmm. kind of has reminded me a little <laughs> bit of No Man's Sky. But okay, yeah. You're still, you're still able to sc scan each planet and possibly yeah. like. Um, drifting objects in space that that was a that was a really cool feature that they had before that I kind of like you, you kind of like take your mouse and you kind of like scan the whole solar system like uh -huh. between all the planets and and see if you can find like ships floating out in space or yeah. derelicts or hidden space stations that might be a really good thing and we will uh, we'll love to see if that's where they're going with this but in Andromeda resources are scarce Worlds are hazardous or outright uninhabitable. Every planet has its own story. I think we're going to see some massive, absolutely massive worlds that um, I'm hearing were core areas on the worlds were, of course, you know, hand created and designed. But a lot of the areas were procedurally generated, which means that there's enormous areas to explore for resource gathering or whatever, or just, you know, taking you from point A to of interest to point B of interest and discovering things along the way that kind of gives it a, a sense of, you know, mystery and more things to explore, more, you know, oddities and, and coolness factors. This is so cool. Who's that? That looks like a, is that a female? Yeah, that is a female Turian. Uh, the main reason that we know that this is a female Turian is that she doesn't have these extended uh, head shield bones. The male Turians have a looks more like a, a like a 1950s comb over or comb back style hair. Okay, so there's piece. there's definitely a distinct difference, eh? Yeah, it's not a yeah. it's not a massive difference, but but it's um, enough to it's enough to notice. Yeah, we did not see this uh, gender of this race in the first two games. Okay. And we didn't even see it in the third game until they did a DLC pack. So it looks as if one of the main companions here mm -hmm. in this game is going to be this female Turian, which is awesome because one of the best companions throughout the series originally was uh, was a male Turian. So oh, okay. she doesn't talk, so we don't hear her voice in this trailer. But uh, i got to say she looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I agree. She does look pretty good. Looks like a great horned lizard to me. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. no, I'm looking at the sorry, I'm looking at the guy on the left. Yeah. Um, well well let's talk about the guy on the left here. You'll notice that this guy has uh, a whole bunch of like bones attached to his armor. So this is a much more tribalistic version of this race. So uh the Krogan, okay. I believe this Krogan's name is Trek. We we know that from some leaked stuff that came out. Yeah. Uh but it looks as if he is uh, first of all, he's definitely your companion, and he it looks as if he's a, a little bit more of a tribalistic, or we might see that he's a little bit more like a, a little bit more shamanistic in his approach to combat and stuff like that, or he's more predator-like. It's interesting to see this side of it, because the last two Krogans that we had in our group were very, very much like 
heavily like technologically bent fellows. It'll be interesting to see what kind of like personality and what kind of stuff he brings to the table here. But mm-hmm. this also means looking at his armor and seeing all the decorative stuff. Uh, in one of the earlier trailers, people saw Krogan take a human and drop him off the side of a cliff. Uh, this is definitely not that Krogan. So oh, okay. I I would highly I would highly doubt it. I think that's probably going to be some kind of random enemy NPC that will will encounter or some kind of weird situation that we'll see. Or... It has some sort of like affiliation yeah. with the storyline. I want to point this out here and see if anybody else agrees with me in the comments. Uh, we're going to be introduced to the AI or the VI or possibly. The Geth. Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations. I heard this voice and I got Ash to, to listen to these this voice and some samples from uh, Legion back in uh, number two. And we were trying to figure out if maybe it's a Geth character. I wouldn't imagine they'd bring the Geth along because they were at war with them. But yeah. there were factions of the Geth that were... St- more or less friendly and i could imagine some of them coming along so that's interesting i'm very interested to see uh what everybody else thinks it sounds very much like an ai like it sounds yeah it reminds me of cortana um yeah that's exactly what i was thinking too yeah or like um iron Legion man's from the- uh Iron Man's AI computer. Oh, yeah. Her, uh, Jarvis. Her, 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 Jarvis. Yeah, Jarvis. Yeah, when, when you showed me those clips of the Geth from earlier games, and then I listened to this, it the the voices are processed in similar ways that it mm-hmm. it could be that it's a Geth character. Could also be that it's voiced by the same actor, even. Like, some of the speech sounded similar enough that I, I thought maybe it's the same voice actor. It's obviously... Um, mm-hmm. been processed very similarly, but uh, I mean, it's hard to say conclusively, but could be. I'd say possibly. Hey, that thing looks like a puma. <laughs> <laughs> so this this vehicle is a much better improved. Like the from the look of it, the handling is much better. The the graphics are a lot better. The you got some dirt flying up from the wheels. It it's, it looks like it's a pretty pretty fun tool to run around with scanning tool at first i was like oh you that horrible scanning tool from no man's sky but i think what we're seeing here is that we're seeing you can see these footprints that the character is tracking okay i see it yeah and i think this is going to help us with some puzzle solving and some of the dungeons. puzzle solving and, tracking yeah i think we're going to see a handful of that coming in yeah and here it's highlighting the body. And so there's yeah. like mysteries and puzzles and uh, your scanning tool might help in those things. And I hope that's the case because if it was just to scan local wildlife and minerals, I would I would not be a happy camper. So that's cool. That's good. That means that it's yeah. got like a it's got a reason for being there beyond just filling random content in the, yeah, in the exactly. gathering and, and crafting. All right, moving on here. We're going to check out some of this combat stuff here. So we got some flying ships now. Uh, that's pretty cool. We've got the drones back again. That's awesome. This is looking the, interesting. Those, sh- those drop ships look so much like the ones from Halo. Yes. I was thinking I'm is... getting the Halo feel of this too. <laughs> and this the, sort of... Like... I, I do want to point out, though, I do want to point out a small fact that that there is such a thing as like aerodynamics and and the smoothness of building ships. So I, I will kind of give them a pass on on the fact that some of you know some sci-fi ships look similar because <laughs> there's the reasons why certain sci-fi ships look similar is just like a design thing. But true, yeah. they do look very Halo-esque, and um, some of these monsters even look a little Halo-esque. Down here in the combat HUD. We also see the two pictures of the two companions, so that's cool. Okay. Um, so the combat looks so, so much better than the previous titles. One thing I do want to comment here is you saw the charge here that happened. Um, this is one of my favorite abilities from the Mass Effect series. It's a, it's a Vanguard ability charge, and so this means that that ability is definitely in the game. 
we can see here that you can charge up to different levels. That's pretty cool. It was kind of there in the third game, and, but this is this is a much more streamlined version. And is that a sword I see? Or are you just happy to see me? No, sorry. <laughs> that I wow. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna play this again a little slower. That is a sword. That's not an Omni Tool claw that you saw in Shepard in the third and the second one. This is um this is a an Omni sword blade, which is an actual like weapon uh that I've been hoping to see kind of make the transition mm -hmm. from the, the Omni blades and the um the swords that the Phantoms and the Assassins had in the mm -hmm. in the previous game. But this this is awesome. This is pretty cool. All right, I do want to point this out here. Look at this. That dude just ran through the Hydra. Gotta shame, love Bioware. Shame. You just had an NPC run through a Hydra like it wasn't even there. Much more in-depth gathering here. You just scan the, the local flora and fauna, collect it. There is a limit as to how much you can collect. I do kind of like limits. What do you guys think? Limited inventory space is more immersive. Mm -hmm. But... Inventory space is one of those areas where I'm willing to make a bit of a sacrifice on realism mm -hmm. for the sake of better gameplay. Yes. For the sake of less yeah, tedium absolutely. kind of thing. Now, I really like this monster here. Um, you know, we had more in-depth gathering, and here we've got more in-depth dying. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, she just got eight. Yeah, she did. That was not, that was not fun. The thing uh, reminds me of a Rancor. Yeah, it's a, it's a little rancorish. So portable covers, what do you guys think? Good thing or bad thing? Depends on how long it's able to work for. Here, just right after this, we've got the world's dumbest raider. Yeah, he's just walking right through the flames and walking like right up to. <laughs> <laughs> we've got portable covers. We've got laser beams. We've got flamethrowers. I'm pretty happy with this and like chain lightning kind of ability. That's awesome. I'm really happy with these. We've got remnant forces. We've got cool capital building areas. We've got flame turrets. We've got some pretty cool invisibility, of course. Sniper, course, weapons, fight mm -hmm. for a new home. And more immersive dying. There we go. Mass Effect Andromeda. So I'm excited to get into this new galaxy. How about you guys? How, what's your first... Uh, this is the first real major gameplay video that we've seen. How are your guys' thoughts? It looks really neat. And, uh, I mean, I don't know a ton about the world, the game universe. But it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to diving into this game and seeing what what it's got in store. I'm, it reminds me of a lot of games that I have really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah so I feel the I've, same way. I'm pretty excited for this. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to have a uh, Mass Effect lore kind of breakdown. Uh, we're going to do that video before the game comes out. Kind of go over what you need to know if you're getting into the game for the first time. All right, thanks for joining us for this trailer breakdown. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.